Gaethje featherweight division fight. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. Just over two minutes to go in round one. And he landed the right hand there. He got the turn in that kick. Winded up on the right there to no avail. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Unable to connect there. There's no give on that leg kick. Blocks the shot. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Less than a minute now to go in round one. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, beautiful strike there as he kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Way to hide that leg kick. What a fight so far. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His striking was money in that previous round. Got to think he'll pick up where he left off. All about the money. It was three back, cash, <laughs> dollar, dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> Every single strike he landed was on point. It was accurate, and it was heavy. Every time he let loose, he was able to land and land with great effect. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Single collar tie now. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Throws the left hand. 90 seconds and counting in round two. Oh, Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively. Tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Nice strike. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking.
Third round underway. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Nice kick. He blocked the punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing. He landed with so much force. Switching stances here. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Great kicks there. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. He gets hit with a kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. Big head kick. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is gonna have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Lee. Under two minutes to go. Target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh! Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Lee gets caught. That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. And the left kick there with conviction. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Lee gets lit up by that straight punch. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Oh, nice knee to the body, very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you would. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. 
look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just missing on the high kick there. Wow! Oh, over the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very good. And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship win.